Hi guys, Ben here from Everyday Gadget Reviews and we have got another vaping um, reboilable dripping atomizer for review today. This one has been sent over by exhalecigarette.co.uk The link is in the description below and this is the Ude Igo W6 and if I can just show you inside there then you'll see that this is a beast of a dripping at atomizer. So let's roll that intro and uh, take a look at this a little bit more up close and personal. So, as you said, this is the UD IGO W6 and it comes in this beautiful presentation pack. Like I said, this was sent over from exhalecigarette.co.uk and that link is in the description below and up above. Now, this retails on their website for £18.60 and it comes in this really nice presentation box. Um, you can see exactly what you're looking at and also what you're buying as well. If we remove it, it says that it's a rebuildable atomizer. And then if we open up the front, it says Igo W6 rebuildable atomizer, four negative posts, adjustable air holes available for dual and four coils. So that's dual and quad coils. And um, you can't run this in a single coil. An extremely limited voltage drop, large vapor, and excellent taste. And then in the back, there's a little um, warranty card and then you also get a pack of goodies which has got extra rings and there, extra screws and um, it's also got some ribbon wire as well and some silica wick but we're going to put that inside there and we're going to use our own stuff but first of all we'll pop the W6 out so this is made from stainless steel this bronze coloured band in the middle is your adjustable airflow and as you can see that rotates very very well really freely and then it's got these massive air holes in now if we get a bit closer um, up you should be able to see that these air holes um, are four millimeters um, in diameter okay and there are four of them for when you're running that in quad coil and then if we just turn it these ones where you have two which are two um, two two millimeter air holes and there's two of those are for when you're running it in dual coil. It's got 510 threading so it should fit on the majority of your mods out there and it's got this huge platform. Now I just want to show you it on the gold stingray. Um, so there you go. That's what it looks like on the gold stingray and it looks absolutely um, fantastic. Um, you get the clarity of the gold and silver drip tip and then the gold and silver Igo W6 and then the gold and silver Stingray as well. If we take a look at the deck of this, you have four negative posts, two raised ones and then two lower ones and then your positive one inside. Now I have to say this isn't um, for anybody who is new to vaping or new to dripping um, and it is quite fiddly on setting up as well It's made from three and um, it's made from stainless steel like I said and um, it's got a diameter of 22 millimeters So it looks absolutely perfect on the stingray and other 22 millimeter mods um, and the height of this If we just unscrew it without the drip tip so the overall height of this is 36 millimeters. Now one thing that I am going to say to you is when using um, the Igo W6 you're going to be mainly for sub um because of the amount of different coil coils that you can put in there. So I do recommend using something like an E-Fest Purple um, 35 amp battery um, for your battery safety as well. So what we're going to do is screw this all back together and I'm going to show you how to build this in a quad coil fashion and uh, we'll probably speed this up a little bit as well. So we're going to start the building process and as you can tell all the negative posts have these cross headed um, screws in the top and so does the positive post in the middle. You've then got a hole in the top of the positive post and then this kind of nut that screws down and if we turn it around you can probably just tell um, there that there's a hole in the bottom of it so use that when um, you're building this in a quad core fashion so what we're going to do to start off is just loosen off all these screws now I'm going to probably only going to put one coil in there and probably 
speed up the process of building this um, because it can take a little while to put all four coils in but I'll show you how I make the first coil as well and you've got to be careful with these screws that you don't lose any of them so that's all then um, loosened off and we'll put the, the first one now when you build this you build them with um, vertical coils not horizontal um, so you have to make sure you're doing it properly now what I'm going to be building this with is some 0.4 mil camphor wire and each coil is going to have seven wraps around a two millimeter drill bit so let's just start us off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you want to try and get those coils as close together as possible, as you can probably just see there. You want to try and get them really, really close, and that's going to give you better vapor production. Now, this becomes the tricky bit when you try and put all these together. So, this is quite difficult to do on camera, so I do apologize. And I may go quiet just for a second while I try and put all these um, into the correct place. Because it's such a small deck on this it's really late to yeah, okay so that's the coil in there now and you should be able to see that you've got the one lead through a negative and one lead through the top positive and the coil is kind of reasonably straight so I'm just going to Tighten up this screw down here, and you want to make sure that it's well connected in there, like so. And then, what I do as well is just tighten that top one down as well, and then try and adjust the coil um, where you need it. You then get a hold of some little nail clippers. And what you need to do is get rid of the excess um, leg lead on these. So just snip them off like so. And I hate how much wastage you get with one of these. And then just try and position your coil in the right type of space that you're after. And then what we do. Give that a fire. Get your tweezers. Give it a little squeeze. And what you're trying to look for is that coil getting hot from the inside out, like so. And just make sure it's evenly spaced. And there you go. It's beautifully heating. So, what I'm going to now is uh, build four, uh, three more coils and get this all built up and then we can see it all being wicked up properly. So as you can see now we've got two coils installed, one this side and one this side and they're both going through the top hole of the positive centre pin and if we fire them on now you can see that they're evenly glowing and that's what you want. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to the centre post up here, you want to raise all the way to the top, this little nut on the centre post. Um, this one just here, you want to raise that all to the top so you can see that hole in the middle. And then we're going to put two more exactly the same um, coils um, through this post here and through this post here and then going through that centre hole and this is where it becomes a little bit more fiddly. So, so now we've got four coils in here like so. And uh, with the setup that I've got, it's running about 0 0.22 ohms, and that's with this um, 0 
no camphor wire at seven wraps per coil. It does take a little bit of time to heat up, but as you can see, that they're all nicely starting to glow. It is really hard with this device to get um, all the coils heating properly, and because you're running such low ohms with this device, um, especially in quad coil, you need to make sure you've got that decent battery in there as well. So we're going to wick this up now, and what we're going to wick it with is just some normal cotton. So to do that, I'm just going to um, roll up some cotton wool, just off a normal organic cotton, cotton wool ball. Um, like say, so you want to try not to twist it, but you actually want to roll it, um, so it wicks all that juice up when we when we put the juice on it, and just put it through. And then with your tweezers, just try and ease it through, like so. And you want to make sure it's a it's a no, it's a snug fit through there. Um, nothing too too crazy going on um, and we're just gonna snip the top of this like so get rid of the excess and the stuff underneath we're just gonna make sure all that deck for each one of these coils nicely packed with cotton wool underneath so you're not going to get dry hits because this um, with such low ohms is going to uh, you're going to find it vapes really really quickly so there's one of them Let's see if we can do another one Okay, so there we go. It's all curled up and uh, wicked nicely. And now we're going to apply some juice. Now this is a homemade sweet custard pie, and this is a hundred percent well, near as hundred percent VG as I could possibly make it. And what we're going to do is just make sure we cover all of this cotton. Cotton, sorry, not cotton. Um, like so, give it a good, good amount of juice on there because this thing really does love drinking the juice. Make sure it's fully coated like so. should see how much there you can see how much vapor that gives off now what you want to do when you put this on um, if you're building it in quad coil um, and you are sub in which it's hard not to with this device just make sure that the air holes in um, the top or the outer ring directly over those coils um, like so you should be able to see so wherever there's a coil you want one of these holes and now these do move so you can see how much you want but when I'm using it I like to have it fully open and then you just pop the top cap on like so and uh, we'll go up top now and see how so there we go we've got the uh... Ude Igo W6 all built up now and it's running on the Stingray um, Golden Mod it, and this has come from xalcigarette.co.uk as well and you can see a link, um, a review of this um, on one of my previous videos in fact if you click the mod right now um, you'll be taken to that video but let's see how this vapes now remember we've put quad coils in this 7 wraps of 0.4 Canthal, um, and that's given us a ohm reading of around 0 0.22 ohms. And um, so let's have a vape. Okay.
So plenty of vapour production on that and now it's filled up this area of my house. It's like a smoke or fog machine in here. Excellent build quality, looks fantastic device and um, just remember to keep those air holes over the coils when using it. Now if we just recap it's a 22 millimeter diameter and um, rebuildable dripping atomizer that you can build in either quad or dual coil and it's absolutely fantastic. It's not for first time builders and um, to say the least Um, but it is definitely out there for you sub and um, to produce those cloud chasing clouds. So this has been my review of the Ude Igo W6 from exhalecigarette.co.uk. Fantastic looking device, superb for cloud chasing and looks fantastic on this Stingray mod as well. So thanks very much for watching. We will catch you real soon in one of our next videos. And if you are a vapor, keep vaping and stay off those stinkies. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to catch more videos from Everyday Gadget Reviews and make sure that you're not going to miss anything at all, subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe here button just there. And if you want to watch more of our videos right now, make sure you click the watch more here button. So once again, thanks very much for watching this video and we will catch you real soon in the next one.